What is going on everybody? So today I actually got a couple new parts for the uh, Mini Cooper S. Um, overall I got the AFE power cold air intake and uh, today we're going to be doing a little unboxing and install as well. So join along with me. Now, as you see, it came in two boxes. Overall, I ordered the uh, the cap as well for the top of the intake, as well as the intake itself. So, join along. I'll open this up, and we'll go through the contents with you. Don't need that, don't need that. Here's our comb filter. We'll unwrap everything. Gasket, uh, license plate frames, if you look like instructions. Put those down there. More paper, don't need that, don't need that. And we come to the actual oh. So overall, the reason why I went with this style instead of k and um, NM engineering and so on is because this actually utilizes the bottom half box of the stock intake. And then on top of that, in this box over here, I'll just set those all down here. More instructions, hardware, and the uh, plastic cap on the top. So, like I was saying, I went with this because overall it will actually in the end look like a stock intake right there instead you're using the uh, a bigger cone filter at the end of the day for better airflow and so on um, there's our filter and that's really about it so in a little bit I'll be uh, heading down to the car and actually installing this so you guys can see here and uh, feel that difference overall. So for install, you're gonna need a T25 torch stick and there's actually gonna be three screw screws, one on the front, one on the side on the right, and then one over on the left as well. Um, basically just take those three out. Is going to be a test of what it sounds like without the um, the cover on so let's see what it sounds like all right I'm I'm already loving it it sounds so awesome
sounds pretty damn good. Um, traffic in LA isn't the absolute best, so. for the um, for the mass airflow sensor is not the absolute best so um, I, I would say be very careful on that and then on top of that um, the uh, um, the gasket that goes around the mass airflow it, it, it's a very tight um, tight hole right there and it's uh, it's uh, it's very um, I would say you're, you follow the instructions overall and you're going to have to um, um, take the mass airflow sensor out of the original instead of just um, um, instead of just plugging it in and transferring it that way overall with you know the new intake in the in the uh, car it's it's I would say much easier to actually install outside the car um, to get a couple hands in there now as far as butt dyno goes the I, I would say the torque the initial torque factor feels actually a lot um, a lot better, truthfully. And you can actually hear it building boost as well, where it just it sounds really good. Um, next t stop, I'm going to put on the cover, and overall I'm just going to see what kind of difference that makes compared to no cover. Um, most likely I will be running a cover on there, just so I'm not getting the full, or at, at least some hot, more hot air, because I know my minis definitely run a little on the warm side, especially under the hood. So um, I'd like to keep that on the on the downside. So well, we'll uh, catch back with you when I'm installing the, the cover, and we'll go from there. All right. So we'll roll up the windows here. Um, so I put the cover back on or not back on but on in general and it is a little bit quieter in which you know especially you have somebody that um, borrows the car and doesn't care for excess noises or anything on that order um, I think it's honestly I think it's perfect truthfully because I mean the main thing is you still have the noise it's more pronounced than um, than uh, stock for sure and uh, yeah it's like I said initially my my only thing is going to be more so build quality of the intake itself it honestly it's not bad truthfully um, but they could have done a little bit better job on the screws that um, came with the intake itself. Um, 
like I said, they they acted like they were starting to strip on you, um, and which one of them I both feels like it did, um, which I mean, you would think that you would just put in just that little bit extra length of screw in there and you should be you should be good to go um after that really everything else um went pretty smooth truthfully um yeah so other than that i will uh get back to driving and showing uh showing some sounds or maybe some sounds depending on how traffic is sport mode overall um, it's just gonna it's just fun <laughs> now this is this is technically my second um, car with a turbo but really first fun one I'm gonna put it over into mid mode and uh, let's see what kind of differences are on that one. Mid mode, um, hopefully, traffic. under the hood. 